Hello everyone, it's Brett here, Lionheart84. I um, thought I'd uh, do a short video on uh, guava identification tonight, and uh, it's a very pleasant evening here in the UK. You have to excuse my uh, bedraggled look, obviously, there are no uh, hairdressers or barbers open at the moment, so um, my hair is just growing. So I should be grateful that I've still got hair, but it's growing and growing and uh, can't get it trimmed at the moment, so it's looking uh, a bit straggly at the moment. But um, I just thought I'd do a very quick video um, on the main two guava species. I'm not going to talk about the very rare, unusual ones, but the confusion that arises between Psidium guajava, which is the common guava, and Psidium catlianum, which is the... Uh, the cat, cat lee guava and the reason I thought I'd do this because I often get people commenting on videos and telling, asking me questions about them and telling me they've got one variety or the other and uh, they quite often don't know the difference mainly because it gets very confusing because there are so many different common names for guavas and a lot of them are inter are used between the two completely different species I mean we're not talking about pineapple guavas here which are Acas, or also known as Fijawa. We're not talking about Chilean guava, we're talking about the actual proper species Psidium, of which there are two completely different ones. And I haven't got fruits to show you, of course, but what I have got is leaves off my plants here. Now, one of the reasons confusion is quite a lot of them are called lemon guavas and yellow guavas and red guavas and strawberry guavas and people get very confused over the differences but the main two varieties are Psidium guajava and Psidium catlianum. Now I've got leaves of both here, this is a Psidium guajava, I've picked because I haven't got, <laughs> my plants are not in very good condition, I haven't got many leaves on the plant so I've picked off a not perfect leaf because I figure this one's starting to go brown anyway. This is off the Psidium guajava. Now that is the main tropical guava species. Uh, that comes in lots of forms, I mean it's what we would call the common guava but it com comes in lots of different names. I mean they're called yellow guava, lemon guava, green guava, white guava, pink guava, Apple guava, Thai red guava, variegated guava, Egyptian guava, pear guava, all to do with the shapes really. And basically, the, the, the difference is normally, it's the flesh colour. Um, I mean, they vary in flesh from sort of white to, to yellow, uh, depending on the degree of ripeness and obviously pink. Uh, and they have red flesh as well and they can the skin can be anything from white to yellow to green to pink to even a sort of dark magenta and that's the reason for the confusion of the names because the other variety is Psidium catlianum now it's very easy to see the difference in the leaves the standard guava is, is quite a long oval leaf it may be variegated and it may be a dark red colour if it's a red if it's a red guava but so you can see from the top of the leaf here that it's quite a sort of a, a distinct pattern on it and when you look at the back the veins are very very easy uh, to see they're very distinct they stand quite proud of the leaf and they're very well defined now I've often seen pictures of this one here and people talk about their pink guava or yellow guava but actually what they've got is the psidium Catlianum. Now the leaves on these, if you put them side by side, tend to be quite a bit smaller. They're much more oval rather than elongated. And as you can see, the underneath of them, their veins are nothing like as distinct. Look at the difference in the size of the leaves. The veins are not as distinct, so they have a much glossier top. Now the reason for that is these are particularly accessible in places like Hawaii. These are much more tolerant of dry conditions and these hardy, these tough and waxier leaves are much more tolerant of cold, salt spray, poor soils. I mean, these have become real nuisance in parts of Hawaii because they've virtually taken over um, areas. 
and then when you look at the difference between the the fruits, the standard guavas will tend to be in, to vary in size from about two inches up to about uh, five or six inches for the giant ones. This one, the Catalan, tends to be between uh, one inch and one and a half inches in size. Now this is the one that is normally referred to. There's two distinct types. There's the yellow one and the red one. Or red, red to burgundy colour. Now the red one is normally called a strawberry guava or a strawberry cherry guava. But in I think in Australia, for example, they call them, uh, obviously they call them a... Let me just turn that phone off for a minute. It doesn't make any noise. Bear with me a minute. Don't like noises in the background. They tend to be called they're called cherry guavas in some countries. They're called strawberry guavas in other countries. Um, obviously, it's also known as a catlay guava, um, and it's really called a strawberry guava because of its colour, not because it's uh, not because it tastes like a strawberry necessarily. And this is the smaller guava that is hardier. The, these will probably take down when they're mature they'll take a degree or two of frost um, and probably bounce back from it very easily um, basically they're, they're just a much hardier tougher plant and they flower when they're much smaller normally than, than an exotic guava now there are two distinct as I said, two distinct varieties there's the red one which is the strawberry guava or cherry guava and then you've got the yellow one which is quite often called the lemon guava or lemon cherry guava but it is also called the yellow cherry guava and you can see why there's confusion over the difference between those ones and those ones I mean obviously if you see the leaves in pictures you'll definitely know the difference straight away it's very very uh, it's very clear the difference in the leaves these are darker and glossier but <clears throat> If you, when you hear someone talking about their yellow guava or their uh, red guava, you're really not going to always know whether they mean what I call the strawberry guava, which is Catalianum, um, or in the case of the yellow one, I like to, I call it the lemon guava, but that's why people get confused over which ones you're growing. But um, I've got two of the this variety. I've got the one which you may have seen videos on that's all but died, but I'm hoping it's going to recover which I believe is uh, well, well it, it was sold as a yellow guava so I'm gonna guess it's got a light green light green skin with probably a white to pale yellow flesh um, and I've got a and I've got a pink one of these as well which is a smaller plant which is what I took the leaf off and of this one I've got the I've got both the strawberry one which is the one I've just done a video on that's got some very small flower buds on and I have also got the yellow or lemon variety which is about I suppose it's about a foot tall now so I'm hoping that's gonna grow well this year and get to flowering size by next year but I just thought I'd do a short video for people who might be interested between the two main guava species the, the proper tropical common guava and the strawberry or lemon cherry guava and that's the difference between the leaves so if you see pictures of them you'll have a better idea and if you're growing one you'll find you, if you may have been missold it because a lot of them are labeled incorrectly you can tell by looking at the leaves which one is which but i just sort of do a short video for anyone interested in knowing the difference between them um, that's not a definitive video because obviously there are lots of other uh, types of guavas but that they are the main two species and i said i've left out pineapple guavas which actually aren't an actual guava and the Chilean guavas which is Agni Molinae they're all related to each other in the myrtle family but they're not proper guavas in terms of their Latin name anyway thanks for watching everybody um, so if it's dragged on a bit I thought I was only going to do a three minute video but time flies when you're talking on the uh, on the uh, camera um, much appreciate you looking obviously please do like and share the video if you think anyone's interested in guava identification and please by all means subscribe to my channel and if you hit the bell you'll be updated about future videos and you can see what, what I look like when my hair grows down to my shoulders. Brett out for now and I'll look forward to catching up with you all soon.